Okay, this morning's challenge is the Kubota cart. It's a RTV 900 uh, diesel 4x4 stuck in reverse. I guess it's a common issue, common enough that there's a couple uh, known fixes to this. And so this here is the transmission. I got to take off one. Let's see if I can show you this. One, two, three four bolts in addition to this spring here, actuator, here and here. So yeah, here, here. And this whole plate then comes off. This this plate of four comes off the unit. And then I gotta get inside there. So that'll be the challenge. Let me just show you what, what happens. Basically, if you get to the shift lever, there's nothing nothing happens and you can be stuck in any position I just happen to be stuck in reverse uh, thankfully I'm good at driving in reverse it's not not real practical gotta release this sucker it's a sensor uh, for neutral yeah let me get a screwdriver I'll grab this sucker a little better. Come on, baby! There we go. Alright, so that's out. This needs to be, well, what's this? Just a little, yeah, okay, good. This little bar, I can pull that out easy. <clears throat> uh, before I go any further here, though, I gotta, I'm going to clean this up so I'm not introducing anything into the transmission. So I'm gonna get some rags, get this cleaned off. Correction here, so I mentioned, I'll spin you around. I mentioned I'm gonna take this arm here, disconnect this, that's true, but then I, I said I would disconnect this one right here, and that's not the case. That will stay attached. It's this arm here that needs to be disconnected here. So this is the lever that's actuating this into different positions. So I'll di uh, disconnect here and here, in addition to the four bolts that hold the transmission in place. Okay, so I believe this one is an eight millimeter, uh, which I didn't bring out. I thought I'd brought enough, but um, it looks like, yes, this is a 10 millimeter here. I've got a crescent wrench, so hopefully, Hopefully it's not, it looks pretty clean and I did do some WD-40 on it earlier. So if this is giving me any resistance at all, I'm just gonna stop and go get that proper size wrench. I definitely don't wanna. Ah, good, good. A little pressure and she comes right. Coming loose there. Get in there. Such a small, all right. Yes, nut driver would have been faster, but. There we go, all right. This is disconnected, same thing. We're gonna disconnect here. Easy peasy, excellent. We do try to keep the machines uh, pretty clean, so that helps. Um, obviously, it's underneath the dump bed, which I um, don't know if I noted, but we have this braced. Um, it shouldn't come slamming down, obviously, um, without power, but it can slowly release, and so that would be a problem. So we've got it braced up here with treated board. Um, I should keep that in check. All right, and this now, it's now released, pieces stored, <laughs> safekeeping. All right, now we'll get to the transmission uh, case itself and get that released. I believe these are 12 millimeter. Yes, excellent, 12 millimeter. There we go, come on, baby. Let's take her easy. I'm just gonna take a little bit of each real quick before I... 
<laughs> yep, good. Some of these over here, I might want to get a... Yeah, it looks like I'll need to get a socket set in there. There's no way I'll get any purchase of any usefulness with just this. All right, hopefully this will fit in this space. Oh, cripes. May uh, maybe. Did I grab the wrong one? 10, ah, oh, crud, I need a 12. All right, back to the, <laughs> back to the barn. All right, back to it, I'll jog down to the barn and back. I creeps. <laughs> Great, they're loose. Excellent. Right. Shorter. All right, two longs. Oh, makes sense. Too short. Makes sense. But, <laughs> all right, so I believe we just have some of the adhesive, uh, the, ah, uh, what is in there? Come on. A little bit of that gasket. <laughs> ah, here we are. Okay. Oh, there's a pin. Okay. It's a bit of a pin holding there for a bit of. All right. So that's the inside here. This, uh, well, this is a clean finger. This is what's actually, you know, actuating. But these two are misaligned. It should be able to slide. I'll, I'm gonna spin the camera. I'll set this aside. All right, so what's happening here is that these two guys, oh, that should be able to slide in between, in between those two. And they're just out of line. You can see that you just can't actually get from bottom to top. So I've got to just torque this one over into position so that they once again are in a you know a vertical line. And that will be the magic. I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's the other one, this guy coming this direction. Yep, oh, there we go. So, okay, so it takes some doing to get them to go to the exact same spot because it wants to slip right past. I just use big old screwdriver just to kind of torque it slightly to the side. And then of course you have to go right past to the other position. And ultimately these are shift positions, you know, um, high, medium, low, and reverse. So finding just the right spot. This upper one I don't believe moves. I didn't mess with it too much. This lower one moves pretty readily uh, with screwdriver and a little bit of patience. So now we'll get the top drive back in there. I'll show you that just real quick. I showed just briefly, but it's this upper arm here, uh, right there, um, that will move in and select and actually, you know, um, select the gears. So get that back into position uh, shortly. We'll see. I got rain coming, so hopefully we can beat the rain. Uh, I can see. Okay, yeah, I feel good contact in there. That should mean something. And just gonna 
these back in place nice and carefully. It's an aluminum piece, so over tightening will strip this sucker pretty quick. Which would not be the goal. One problem to the next. All right, just finishing tightening down everything. Um, we're back in. Something that I'll note, so it looks like we've had success. Something that I'll note that I forgot to, well, I didn't forget, I ran out of batteries. It's a little, little colder than the GoPro likes, but uh, you, you saw the selector, right? It's shaped like this, and then underside of, let me show you this piece here. So that selector is dangling down right in here as you saw the uh, two that I needed to connect. Now pay attention, this arm here is also obviously important. So this piece back here operates that single kind of, you know, the dangle bit. I'll call it the dangly bit. <laughs> and then, so that hangs down like this. And then the other arm that I just showed you has basically a U um, to it. And when I took them apart, they were separate of each other. So I didn't really take any notice of that. But interesting, I was stuck in reverse. Others could be stuck in high or any particular gear. So for me, the orientation was separate, and that was actually part of my problem in where they were stuck. It'd be different for everybody. And as I put it back in, I put it back in, aligning the dangle you know, down into that groove, um, you know, the rod down into the groove, and <clears throat> which is great. All of a sudden, then I had I had low and reverse, and still same problem with high or medium. Nothing. I couldn't. I couldn't do anything to get it over there. And I had to do with, with this, uh, you know, groove over here. And so the trick was just orient the two together because that's how they're meant to be designed. So now it can go up and down and it can engage side to side, kind of push it in that direction as it needs to. That should fix that. And I'll, let's swing around to see if we've got uh, full range of motion. All right, first of all, I can move it. That's a change, reverse. In, low, reverse, or sorry, neutral, high, great, neutral, medium. All four, easy. Let's see if I can show you this. Okay, so there it is. That's neutral back and forth. Neutral back and forth. Reverse, neutral, low, neutral, medium, high. There it is. It's that simple. Don't know what it would cost to take it into the to the dealer, but I was done and you know, other than refiguring stuff, I, I don't know how long I've been out. It's been 30 minutes, maybe. Pretty straightforward.